couple of weeks ago, I reviewed my 12 inch product from Omegon. And one of the accessories this telescope came with was a um, reflex sight finder um, called Radiant. It's a non magnifying um, finder that projects a target onto a glass screen, uh, which helps you navigate the night sky. So if you are looking for a new finder for your um, new telescope, then stay tuned to find out more. Hi, I'm Bogdan Damian and welcome to BT Observatory. If you're new to my channel, I like to talk about astronomy equipment. I like to review eyepieces, telescopes and telescope accessories to give you guys a better overview and maybe help you with your purchase decision. So if you're looking for this type of information, then make sure to subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you will get a notification every time I upload a new video. The main function of a telescope finder is to help you navigate the night sky and find the object you want to observe with your telescope. This works by first aligning the finder with your telescope. This will tell you exactly where the telescope points at when you are looking at the night sky through the finder. There are two types of telescope finder on the market. Each have their pros and cons, but the main function is always the same. On one hand, you have the finder scope. These are like the name suggests, small refractor scopes that attach to your main telescope and help you navigate the night sky. To help you find your target more easily, especially dim objects in the night sky, these finder scopes offer a built-in crosshair and some magnification capabilities, typically a six or nine times magnification. On the other hand, there are red dot or reflex sight finders that use LEDs to help you navigate the night sky. These can either guide you with the help of a light dot or a reticle displayed on a screen or lens. Compared to the first category, this type of finder doesn't offer any magnification. Today, we are going to take a deeper look at a representative of the reflex sight category, namely the Radiant from Omegon. Omegon is Astroshop's own brand in the EU. They sell telescopes, eyepieces and telescope accessories under this brand. This also means that Omegon doesn't manufacture their own products. These are all made in China and then sold in the EU by Astroshop. This isn't necessarily a bad thing as the quality of the Omegon branded products is usually pretty good. The telescope finder that I'm reviewing today falls in the same category. However, here I need to address the elephant in the room. You see, there is another company that offers the same product and is called Terrad Incorporated. They are the original inventor of this design. They've been building the Telrad since the late 70s, early 80s. The acronym Telrad stands for Telescope Reflex Aiming Device. Now that Omegon sells the same design under their own name, got the astronomy community upset because it is believed that they simply copied the Telrad design without their approval. In my research, I couldn't find any information that they did copy the original design without or with the approval of Telrad. There was a source online according to which uh, Omegon actually bought the rights from Telrad in order to um, be able to sell the product with their own branding. Um, I mentioned this in my um, review of the 12 inch Pro Dub from Omegon. Um, but currently I can't find this source online anymore. So I'm not sure if the source was legit. Anyway, I just wanted to mention this, this issue um, before going on with a review. I personally think that if they actually did copy the design without the approval from, from Telrad, um, this is definitely not okay and I'm, I'm, I'm not fine with it. Um, but seeing that this product is being sold all over the um, European Union, 
in Germany, France, Spain, and so on, uh, under the same brand, um, I find it hard to believe that um, they just stole the design and uh, just using for uh, using it for themselves. So, in this case, I'm inclined to think that uh, that the Omegon actually did cut the rights from from Telrad. If you guys are interested in the history behind Telrad, then Astronomy Connect um, published a nice article a few years back called The Telrad Story. Um, I'm going to link this article in the description below. With this out of the way, I would like now to show you guys how the radiant works and how it compares to a normal finder scope. It comes in a generic box with plenty of bolster for safe transportation, so that's good. Inside the box is the plate that attaches to the telescope, which I already have attached to my ProDub, the finder itself and a transparent sheet of plastic with information for easier object location in the night sky. The Radiant has a boxy design with a housing that accommodates two AA batteries at the back, an LED which sits right about in the middle and a mirror in the front. At the front, on the outside, you have the adjusting thumb screws, the focusing lens and the glass screen. The whole finder is made completely out of plastic, with the lens, mirror and screen being made out of glass. It's light, weighing 251 grams without the plate but with the batteries inside. It's 22 cm long, 6 cm wide, 4.6 cm wide without the on-off switch and 11.5 cm high. The way it works is that you attach it to your telescope by using the plate that comes with the finder. The plate sticks to the telescope with the help of two strips of double-sided sticky tape. The finder then attaches to this plate and is secured in place using two thumb screws. To use it, you turn it on and then look through the glass screen at the object you want to observe in the night sky. The LED inside the radiant projects a reticle with three concentric circles on the screen. The smallest circle in the center has a diameter of 0.5 degrees, the next one has a diameter of 2 degrees and the third outer circle has a diameter of 4 degrees. To adjust the projected reticle, you can change its position on the screen by turning on these knobs. This projected target or reticule is the radiance biggest advantage over the normal finder scopes. If you are using it for star hopping, then um, this can be very helpful. If you already know where roughly the objects are in the night sky, then moving from one object to the next is very easy using the, the radiant because you only have to read the degrees by looking at the circles. This helps you hop from one object to the next one. This, however, is also a somewhat negative aspect or a hurdle, if you want, um, because you already need to have some knowledge of the night sky in order to fully benefit from, from the Radiant. If you just started with this wonderful hobby, for example, then chances are that you are relying on your smartphone to navigate the night sky and find the objects you want to observe with, it, with your telescope. In this case, a normal finder scope will be easier to use than the Radiant because it offers you some magnification that will help you zero in on the target or on the objects you actually want to observe. The Radiant can be a very helpful tool when it comes to navigating the night sky. However, it also comes with a few drawbacks. First, it uses batteries that on cold winter nights will deplete faster than normal. So, so having spares with you is necessary. Second, the glass screen is very susceptible to dew if it's cold enough outside. More so than my old finder scope. This is because the glass screen sticks out and it is more exposed so that the cold air touches both sides of the glass. A dew shield like you see here is recommended. And lastly, the build quality is only average in my opinion. 
The screen is just a simple piece of glass that in my case wasn't cut very precisely, leaving sharp and irregular edges. The adjusting knobs are also tiny and plasticky and aren't very easy to turn. The whole optical system doesn't seem very robust. All in all, the Radiant from Omegon is a good telescope finder. However, it doesn't have that premium feel to it, like a finder scope made out of metal and glass does. But it gets the job done. So if you already possess some knowledge of the night sky and are looking for a tool or an instrument that helps you precisely navigate the night sky, then you will love the, the Radiant. However, if you're new to this hobby and you just got your new telescope and are thinking about which telescope finder would best fit your needs, then I would suggest getting a finder scope because the learning curve would be much easier. All right, that's been it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and also subscribe to my channel. If you have questions or feedback, please leave a comment and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching and catch you guys next time.